just, uh, you know, when we last spoke a few weeks ago, you talked about this this team being able to gel and, you know, maybe even quicker than some of the teams you've had uh, in the past, um, you know, dating back a while. Are you still seeing that and, and just things igniting more as, as we get closer to the season? I think that what I've seen is that just the truth of who we are. You know, we're a team that has five veterans returning, and our veterans have been with us two years. It's their second year. And I got eight first-year players. And regardless of how hard they work and how good their attitudes are, we see signs of, of inconsistency um, and, and habits not being completely formed at this particular point. But I see effort, I see teamwork, I see uh, a great atmosphere in terms of communicating with one another. But that we, just, we need every one of these days that we have left to continue to keep working so we can can, can, can reach our potential. Coach, how, how much better do you think, obviously, these guys are going to continue to grow as you see more and more competition, you know, at the end of the day, just seeing more different bodies, you know, are going to get them, you know, on that right path and maybe where those consistencies are a little bit? We, we just need reps, you know, at in, in, in the right intensity, just doing it over and over and over again. So much what you call game slip, slippage and we have guys really accepting new roles, and, and we're just not quite in sync yet, rightfully so. You know, we have uh, we just got a ways to go to get in, totally in sync. But but there's n we don't have any reason that we can't get there. You know, from uh, our efforts good, the focus is good. We just got to be more consistent, and that takes time. How has Megan come along for you guys, both maturing on and off the court for you? Naheem is coming coming around. This is not about that. He has flashes of excellence. Then he has flashes of this is my second year player too. You know, and uh, we have high expectations for him. Uh, he's he just needs reps as well. You know, he, he, when you seven four and you on a high school team and you never have to worry about anybody blocking your shot. You don't have to worry about really jumping. You don't have to worry about running fast because you you just hold your hand up and no one can even contest the pass. It's a big adjustment point, you know, to be consistent running that floor as hard as we asking him to run it. And if you guys who've seen us play in the past, you know that our centers are major, our five men are major contributors to our system, defensively and offensively, because they they got to be setting screens. Sometimes three and four screens in a thirty in a thirty second possession, and that requires you to you spend a lot of energy offensively and defensively. Plus, we switch him one through five, and so he's often guarding a point guard who's trying to challenge him to break the defense down. So we're asking him to do things that most seven footers don't have opportunity to do, and it's challenging for him. But that's who we are, and we believe that's the right way to play. And I think eventually he'll get there. Coach, how important is it to, you know, obviously get an exhibition in on Thursday night? What are you looking for on Thursday night? What I'm looking for on, on, on Wednesday night? <laughs> Thursday night? Thursday night. <laughs> I just want to make sure we, I make sure I show up, okay? <laughs> but, but, but what I'm saying is there's a component of getting guys – in front of the crowd, getting over being nervous, getting over adjusting the plan hard on offense and spending energy on defense. It, it, it's, it's, you know, getting over the nervousness and just being able to focus on a live situation, live game situation is, is important to especially guys who is, who is young and inexperienced as we are. So we try to get out as many guys in the game and they play extended minutes so they can get a feel uh, for what the pace is like playing at the level that we're trying to compete at, offensively and defensively. So it, it really means an awful lot that's good for us to, you know, to, to get some minutes like that in front of the crowd and learn how to play with each other on full speed. But having done the Canada trip and other exhibitions, are there areas where you feel like this team's ahead of where they normally would be this time of year? And what areas are you still kind of 
worried about them. We're we showing signs of being a, a pretty good perimeter shooting team. Um, I, I think that we've shown signs of potentially being able to be efficient in all the things we require them of. We just are, we are not as consistent as we need to be. Understandably so. And this is probably one of the most inexperienced teams that we've had in many years. We normally had juniors and seniors on the team that's been around for a couple of years. That, that's not what we have now. Okay? Anything else?